In this video, I'm going to talk about a file called as Markdown file. Now, Markdown file is mainly uh, used to document the uh, instructions, document the readme file, document the help files, or to show some information uh, within your repository. Now, it can be uh, converted to HTML or XHTML as well. Uh, what it is like markdown file is basically a lightweight markup language with a plain text syntax uh, the file name has a dot md extension which means markdown uh, it's mainly used for uh, documenting the help files or instructions okay so mainly in the github repository you may find a file called as readme.md now that's a markdown file uh, the main purpose of the Markdown file is readability and ease of use. It can also be and mainly used in forums and blog posts as well. I've seen Markdown file being used in many static site generators. Now, what does Markdown file contains? The Markdown file basically contains headings, ordered list, unordered list, emphasis, links, image from a hyperlink, images, uh, bold, italic, strike through, block of code, block quotes, horizontal rules, fractions, summation, and many more, you know. Now, uh, these are some of the syntax which is basically used to generate those markdown files. Now, uh, if you see here, hash is uh, used for heading, uh, dash is used for horizontal rule, uh, three dashes, uh, four dashes, you know, uh, and then uh, the ordered list unordered list uh, can be shown using one dot and dash uh, and so on and so forth so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to uh, demonstrate to you with the live example so now i'm in my visual studio code so you can pick up any editor uh, but i would prefer using visual studio code because that will give you an preview so i'm going to say file new file and then i'm call it as a uh, first um, file okay uh, and then i will name it as first markdown file.md okay so that will uh, uh, create this file and then once this file is created you see this kind of uh, uh, icon over here because it has recognized that file now we can start writing down the markdown so first if i put hash and this is this indicates heading one but how do we see what is happening over here so in visual studio code if you click here you will see the preview okay so this is a preview now i put hash heading one that gives me heading one and again i'll what i'm going to do is like i'm going to copy this and make heading uh, till heading six okay so heading two and then i'll make this heading three heading four and heading five and as you see as i make those changes the the preview is changing constantly so heading four is smaller heading five is further smaller and heading six is much smaller than that so this is how the uh, <coughs> Markdown file is rendered. Uh, let me see what's wrong. So, okay. So, heading six is this way. Okay. So, heading one and heading two use hash. Okay. Now, what if you want to make a sentence bold? So, if I want to write this is bold and bold should be in bold. Okay. So, then what I'm going to do is like I'm going to put two star, two asterisk. Okay. And this becomes bold. Okay. Also, I can make use of, let's see if I can put underscore, 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 underscore. Yes, this also makes it bold. Okay. Now, what about italic? So this is uh, one star or one asterisk will make this italic. And I will again write also, this is uh, underscore italic. So that will mark it as italic. Okay, so this is now converted to italic. So bold and italic is fine. Let's do a strike through. Okay, so this element is cancelled. Okay, now if I want to make this cancelled as strike through, if I put two tilt, that will be cancelled. Okay, so that's the tilt star. 
so I put a tilt so this is cancelled I will strike through then if I want to put something called as a block code okay so if I put three tilt and put three tilt then I can write my block code this is my block code okay uh, I can put anything over here. Maybe I can put some instruction okay, to how to run a command. So npm install. Okay, so something like that I can put over here. Then if I want to make use of a table, okay. So suppose the table is a name uh, and it's age. Okay, so this is this is how the table will be rendered. Okay, so name and age. Okay. Now again, I need to put some dashes and put a pipe. Maybe arrange this and put like this see how the table is formed so if i put girish and now uh, age is 28 and john so this is how you can format the table so this is how the table will look on the right hand side okay now moving forward uh, we can also do a block code you know if i put a angle bracket and then I'll say uh, this is a block code and I can put a long sentence as well you know I'll just copy this code and then I'll just what this will look like okay so that's a block code for writing down some instructions or uh, emphasizing some text around the content if I put three dash, then that's a line. Okay, so let me put some text over here just to show you how this looks. So if I put three dash, it's a line. Some other text, and if I put three underscores, that also becomes a horizontal line. Okay, so three underscore three dash is a uh, horizontal line or horizontal rule. Okay, then let's go to URL now. If say if i put a square bracket and i put my name so garish website okay and if i put this as my website name let's see what happens now if i click on it it will take me to the uh, the website okay so i have put this website so this is like a hyperlink now in a website there is another thing like if say let's say if i take this as an image okay i take the copy image link now again i will put British logo okay and if i put the image file over here now as you see over here there's no image file displayed however if put an exclamation prefix it with exclamation then you see that image is directly rendered from this website okay so the first one is a hyperlink second is an image uh, pointing to an image okay so that image is currently rendered now a bit variant of this like if i want to show the tooltip you know now if you see here there's no tooltip now if i put a website and say tooltip uh, and then if i put space and say my website okay and maybe let me put it in a double quotes and see whether it works or not now if i hover my mouse i can see the tooltip see my website this is how you can put it oh, like a hyperlink with the tooltip moving on for an ordered list if i put one one dot so this will become an ordered list so if you see a one 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 is one two three so that's an ordered list and then I can also say, okay, so if I just put a tab and say it has added another, uh, it basically adds an indentation to the ordered list. Okay, now if you want to put an unordered list, I will say uh, dash, and this is a unordered list. Now I can also put star or an asterisk you know and say uh, like this i can 
output those things. So that's an unordered list. And then I can even uh, indent and then I can put uh, other things as well. Okay, so that's where you do the indentation for an unordered list. So that's about ordered list, unordered list. Uh, what if you want to show, like say this thing. So this is bold, right? So this is bold. This is how you write bold, right? Now, what if I want to show asterisk, you know? Then what I can do is if I want to show asterisk over here, this is how I can show the asterisk in bold, okay? Now, what if I want to not show the asterisk? If I put this is slash bold, then this will be italicized. Now, what if I want to show asterisk and not apply the italicization, then I can put escape it with slash. The moment I do that, it will treat this as a normal character and not an instruction to uh, modify the UI. And then you can uh, display those. Right, so that's about the escape sequence. Now, um, the other things, uh, what I need to do, like we can do all other complex things as well. Like say, if I have like a, some say, square bracket, and if I put, uh, one so if i want to put some sort of a to-do list okay so if i put two if i put three okay now if i want to put this as selected i can put x here i can put x here now see if you see here the display is not shown properly okay now what happens with an md file is like visual studio code has a preview editor but it won't display all the preview editor so there is a variant to it now if you take this entire file and put it in a github repository then you might see the rendering of this is in a bit a different way okay now just uh, we will just park this for now uh, we'll just move on to the next one uh, usually this one is shown as a checkbox you know and then use this one two is like a selected checkbox and three is unselected okay now moving on to the complex part like if you want to display a fraction you know so then we can make use of dollar sign okay so if i put dollar sign and then within here if i want to show a fraction okay so if i want to show one by n okay so i just put frac and put one and say n okay so the, see this is how it will show you frac one by n and then we can make further complex uh, uh, equations as well like if i want to put a summation okay put slash sum it will show me the summation value and then if i want to put oh uh, uh, say i equal to one to uh, raise to say maybe five okay this is how I can display that equation. So this part will slash frac will generate one by n, slash sum will generate the summation sign, and then uh, i equal to one to five is iterating through one to five. So that's how we can make some complex equations, okay? Uh, now the other part, what we can do is, now this is an MD file. This is an MD file with a preview. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this in GitHub. Okay, so let me go into my GitHub. So this is like one simple GitHub repository. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say add a file. First, let me save this file. Just save this. And if I go to GitHub and in GitHub, I'll say create new file or maybe hmm, I can copy paste it. That's one way. Or maybe I can directly upload it. Okay, so let me upload this rather than creating a new file. Uh, upload a file, choose file, and then this one, okay? And this file will be committed. Let me put some file over here. And now when I open this file in GitHub, you know, like in GitHub, like if you navigate to any, say, uh, say repository, here you will find a lot of md files now here for center of excellence starter kit microsoft has created one md file for showing how to contribute and now this is how you can re preview the md file the markdown file now if you want to see the underlying backend of this you click on code now if you see this contributing this is basically an h1 so it should be ha hash contributing in the code like if you see here this is hash contributing and this is how you put the url you know 
and those all things are shown over here now let's see what happens to our file now if i uploaded this file if i click on this empty file you will see the preview of it okay now uh, if you scroll down you will see all the preview uh, listed over here okay and if you click on code you will see the raw code over here right the one which we added mm, so like this you can have a uh, md file displayed uh, now in visual studio code you can also go one step ahead and then you can add an extension for markdown like if you're not happy with the preview of visual studio code then you can find an extension uh, and then you will find a lot of markdown extensions over here now this is one of the extensions in markdown preview and if i install it then it will start previewing uh, the application so i'll show you how it, it how it works so i have installed this now if i go into my markdown file let me close this now and if i click here now it will be displayed using the other previewer again that's how it will show all the uh, markdown files okay so uh, so that's an another way to view the markdown files in the visual studio code application so that's it folks this is all about using markdown file within your application to document to uh, uh, document some content or help file or instructions or any readme file uh, thanks for watching